We got some big news in the world of digital audio networking. Finally, yes. Finally, Audinate has come out with support, Dante Virtual Sound Card support for Apple M1 based computers. Cue the choir angels singing. Ooh. It's about about time. I was about to go down to the Audinate offices wherever they are and be like, guys, <laughs> hello, is anybody awake? What you doing? It's been a yeah. year, almost a year and a couple months now. Uh, we could really use this uh, Dante Virtual Sound Card on our um, M1 Max. So, Adam, you're the one actually back at back at the home base there in Colorado at South yeah. Fellowship. Have you guys talk us through what what are we using? Uh, what M1 Max are we have we been using it with so far, and what are the results? Yeah, so far um, we did keys. So we've got, you know, MacBook Air running Sunday Sounds. Um, we've been going into USB, like a radial DI box, but we swapped it out for Dante. So we're able to just use a network cable. Um, also, the stage boxes are like a little bit odd at South because the stage has been rearranged, but the floor pockets haven't. So um, it really opens up some space and allows us to not run cables across the stage as far. So like we're able to to pull in stereo guitar and not have to run cables way to the back of the stage, which has been awesome. But so we're using it for stereo keys. Uh, I used it for tracks. So I led last Sunday and we sent, um, well, we didn't really need a whole lot of tracks because we had David Faltzgraff playing keys. But if we yeah. did need to, um, I set it up for up to eight channels. So we had, you know, a synth based, synth -based channel, uh, percussion specific channel for chipper and broadcast um uh team to mix into the mix properly um so you know guitars channel it was awesome to have that and not use the audio interface um i think i'm gonna add the computer like the pro presenter computer send that over dante via or dante because why have extra cables when you don't need to and sonically too i think even aaron um, the worship pastor was saying like, Hey, I noticed a difference. Like, do you think that I'm just being biased or like, I really do feel like there's a higher audio quality when you're not doing as much audio. To I really prefer, our, yeah. I really prefer my audio al Dante. Yeah. <laughs> I want to make, well, I want to make a t-shirt that, that says that the we should. Yeah. That'd be good. But yeah, I mean, he, he was just like, man, it's, sonically it's better because it's not doing as much um analog to digital or digital analog conversions it's just staying digital until it hits the amps um yeah that's, so. that's a great point and then we could on the t-shirt we could have like a bowl of like it looks like spaghetti but this the this the pasta is like cat network, five network yeah. cables yeah i think ho hopefully people so the uh i don't know when i think eventually the our little merch shop is supposed to show up below these videos if people want to buy like church front merch so it may or may not be working by now i'm not sure but go to churchfrontshop.com free little plug there and maybe they'll see i like my audio al dante uh shirt oh I can that's amazing that. i can whip that up in about two minutes that's the beauty of uh on demand merch yeah do it before audinate does <laughs> yeah, don't. No, they they take about a decade to uh, come out with anything that people need or want. So, yeah, I was like, oh. dude, it's so funny because, oh man, I'm gonna find that IT guy meme. This is like what I think about whenever, um, whenever, <laughs> whenever I think about I Audinate, and I don't know if people Audinate probably doesn't waste any time. Uh, with watching whatever we do here, but this is, I don't know when I think about yeah. their IT department, this is, this is what I think about, um, this meme right here. You need to put, you need to put like the church front YouTube on that screen, like superimpose yeah. it on that TV. <laughs> put our face there. Cause they're watching that rather than working on Dante. Oh man. No, so I'm sure that I'm sure that they, they ran into some things we should, Given the benefit of the doubt there, but um, yeah, Ableton. Gosh, it's like if you need more yeah. developers, charge more for your product or something. Hire more people. It, it does cost more now. There is there was there is a okay. new charge, um, but outside of Dante, 
So we're using Dante for all that. And in the studio, um, I've used Dante since it came back as well. But uh, Ableton as well has um, the M1 update, and it runs so much smoother. That's good because Ableton with M1 was a struggle bus. Well, it was going through Rosetta, I think. Yeah, yeah. So now it's native to the M1 chip, so it's not doing that workaround. I don't know. I'm not a computer scientist, but um, yeah. it works smoother. Like last Sunday, like I said, we I ran Dante for the tracks, even though know, we didn't need them. We still needed a click and no issues the whole time. Awesome. I didn't even have the computer next to me. That's I had it awesome. like backstage. Man, I'm so excited about that. We'll get back to the video in a moment, but first I want to tell you about our sponsor, Worship Ministry School. You might think that Adam and I just spend all of our time making YouTube videos, but that would be false. We spend most of our time making these courses that you see here in Worship Ministry School. We have courses on church sound, lighting design, broadcast mixing, keyboard players, electric guitar, Ableton Live, pastoral theology, all of these important essential topics for the modern day worship leader and tech director. And Worship Ministry School consists of two Two things courses and coaching so we can actually come alongside you and give you customized consulting and advice for your worship ministry so head on over to worshipministryschool.com today click that green get started button complete the application form and book your free strategy session and explain too because sometimes we've been learning about how to optimize our network a little bit better for dante um how is that network configured in the south fellowship space getting like how many switches are we using? Are you running out to one switch in the tech booth? What, what are we actually doing there? Cause I, I haven't seen it in a while. Well, there's, I just found a switch that wasn't being used. It was just like sitting in a rack unplugged. So I pulled that one and was like, ah, I hope that this works. And, um, I couldn't find a lot of information, but I plugged it in and it worked. So I didn't, you know, dive too deep into it. Um, and then we have one of those little net gear, uh, five or eight ports. I think it's a five port unmanaged switch at front of house. And so the wing is plugged into that. And um, the other ports are available for, say, you're programming lights for the service. You can just set your laptop down um, next to the lighting computer and plug it in. Or if you're programming um, ProPresenter and you just like want to put your laptop at the front of house desk to interact with the other computers as you're programming stuff there's space to do it there um so really between stage and front of house there's just like one cable that goes between the, those two switches and then the switch at front of house is plugged into the main network got it so we can still do internet you can still do um lighting and uh, pro presenter cues over the staff network that's already in place. It's just that we're kind of adding this Dante network to it. Yeah. If, if you're listening or watching this, you're new to Dante, just search Dante for worship ministry. And we have a video, um, I made a few years ago, really pretty much all the same concepts apply. You've got Dante virtual sound card, which is, well, it is what it says. It is a virtual sound card or kind of like a virtual, audio interface device so when you go into ableton or logic or live streaming software anything that can take in or send out audio it'll show up like another device like you would if you plugged an interface into that computer um so that's dante virtual sound card and then you can send dante it's what 64 over 64 with virtual sound card i think for yeah in and out um then there's dante via that has been working on m1s I'm guessing that's more stable because I think that was kind of like beta or something. I'm not sure if they were super confident about it, but weren't we, we were using that to send audio from like to our uh, video switching computer, right? For it to, to, yeah. to hear the live stream mix. Yeah. So for, for broadcast switching for video switching, um, I wanted to, I just don't like when there's a bunch of extra unnecessary hardware and cables. Mm -hmm. So being able to just send Dante, um, like the, the broadcast mix from the wing, um, really it was going all the inputs into the wing and then over AES 50 going to the Ableton computer that's mixing the broadcast mix, 
sending it back to the wing. But from there, that broadcast mix uh, is going out on Dante. So after all that, it was just like pull in that main broadcast mix to the laptop that's running switching and just plug headphones into it. So instead of running cables from front of house to where the broadcast table is, like with analog XLRs and then putting a headphone amp there um, and powering that, it's just like plug it into the the laptop with with headphones and be able to hear the broadcast mix. So the, the next application of Dante that would be kind of nice for us to actually use is to... Um, to use it for it, instead of using AAS 50 uh, for yeah. our broadcast mix that could free up uh, AAS 50 C. That's the one on the wing that we're using because it's great. I, I mean, AAS 50 has been super reliable and simple, um, but I'd be even really tempted now to, I don't, I don't think we'll, we would do this long term. It'd be fun to try a Sunday where now we, we send uh Dante to our studio where we have a dedicated mm. like chipper's office. It could be kind of a dedicated mix room. And then we just could send a, a multi view over there too, um, for, um, just to see what's going on for whoever's mixing. That would be pretty enticing to do and try that out. Cause that was kind of, we could have done that with AS 50 this whole time too. I guess we could have just ran a long cable, but I feel like yeah. Dante, um, yeah, I don't know. I guess we yeah, the cable. Anyways. The cable's already there, and there's only five days until Easter, so I definitely have have time to take care of this. Perfect. Do it. No, the uh, but I don't. It's just that's the thing. It's the reason why it's nice with Dante. You get a lot. You get you've you've unlocked a whole realm of possibilities where you can send audio to and from places. That's why it was such a bummer when M1 Max came out, and then there was no support with Dante Virtual Sound Card. So we're finally. Uh, 14, 15, 16 months later, finally catching up to Apple and where they've come with these awesome new computers. Good job, Audinate. I know we we pick on you a little bit, but we like it. It's awesome. Been we are super it grateful it's back. Yes, very, very grateful. Um, and it's great to hear that so far. I mean, I guess you're really only what one or two weeks into it using it. Yeah, on M1? yeah, a couple of weeks. Um, so far, so we good. Didn't yeah, that was why it was like, okay, let's just do keys and tracks. Like, does this work consistently for a few weeks? Like, maybe in a couple weeks we would switch over the broadcast mix to be Tom Day. But if it's like, I didn't want to do all of it at once in case something didn't work out. Yep, it's a good good piece of advice there. Don't don't implement if you can implement in phases. Do that or one at a time. But awesome. So you guys can, like I said, check out the, the Dante resources we've got, um, on the channel here. Just, just search it here on YouTube. Um, but good news in the world of Dante. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to check out worshipministryschool.com for online courses and coaching for worship ministry leaders. If you'd like to try out one of our courses, go to churchfront.com forward slash courses and you'll see our selection of a la carte trainings. All of the links for that down below this video. Leave a like, subscribe, share it with your friends. See you next time.